In this video, I'll be discussing new features added in the 3.0 version of ArcGIS Maps for Adobe Creative Cloud. The first feature we'd like to highlight is ArcGIS Enterprise Support. You'll notice in the new sign-in window, there's an ArcGIS Enterprise option. You can now sign into the extension with enterprise accounts in connected and disconnected environments. You can use Pro AIX files or make maps in the extension using content that is hosted in your enterprise's organization. In order to use this ArcGIS Enterprise functionality, you must have ArcGIS Enterprise 10.9 or later. The second major feature we're supporting with this release is vector tile support. With an ArcGIS organizational account, you can use vector tile maps and layers with our new default mapping profiles. This allows you to sync vector tile layers into Illustrator with organized vector elements. You can customize these vector tile layers to your liking. Let me show you an example. In the map boards window, I'm going to draw an extent around the area I'd like to map. In this example, I'm going to map the entire world. Then I'm going to go and set my level of detail. In the compilation window, you'll notice a new pop-up mentioning mapping profiles. What does this really mean? If we go to our map settings, you'll see there is a new option for mapping profiles. Here, you'll find the default profile and the legacy profile. If you'd like to edit vector tile layers and have them be organized in Illustrator, we recommend using the default profile. If we jump to our base map selector, you'll see various other options for base maps that you can use. If I select the streets night base map, I can go ahead and sync this map. Once the map is synced into Illustrator, you'll notice in the Layers panel we have all these organized layers ready to design with. For example, land and ice, bathymetry, continent labels, and I can go ahead and design my map to my liking without having to organize any of the data. If we jump back into the compilation window and I select a different base map, for example, vector street map or natural earth, you'll notice this warning pop up. All this warning is saying is that you have to change your mapping profile in order to sync. To do that, go into your map settings, your mapping profile settings, select the legacy profile and click OK. Your base map will load and you'll notice the error you saw before has disappeared. Then you can go ahead and sync this map and continue your mapping workflows. Another exciting addition to version 3.0 of Maps for Adobe is support of the Equal Earth projection. If I go under my map settings, under projection, I can now search for Equal Earth. Let me show you an example of something that I've done. So here I projected World Street Maps, the night version, uh, as an Equal Earth projection. And this is just the base map. I haven't added any other layers. And you can see again, all of my layers are organized inside of this base map already for me. With just a little bit of effort, I was able to completely transform the look of this map from before to after with all my layers organized and ready to design with. All it took was a couple clicks to change colors and fonts and change my base map into something completely different. And those are some of the new features that we've added in the 3.0 release of Maps for Adobe. For additional features and fixes, including new support for editor and viewer account types, feel free to check out our doc page for more info. Thanks.